Welcome to SwiftCat. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can make navigation items in an iOS project. So for this, I already have a program project which I have already done. And uh, I will just run and show what you have right now actually in my uh, simulator. And uh, for next what we are going to make. So let's say in this one you can see I have a simulator and I have a navigation bar uh, navigation item. So I want need to add some navigation uh, items into this navigation bar. So for that I already uh, have in my storyboard. I'll show in my storyboard what I have right now. So let's say so here I have a navigation bar item which I placed already and uh, I will show you one thing that uh, we, what we commonly make mistakes so I have I'm going I have already set some few images so here I need to I'm going to put some image and see what's going to happen look in the navigation item if I select a image and uh, it will appear right in the middle actually I don't want in the middle I want in the left bar item the reason why is uh, if I select another image menus it will go to here the reason actually is if I if we go to assets and if I am selecting the both images I have already set one into two into three and two which I according to the image assets uh, exact uh, image size I have set into it that's the reason it's uh, showing in the left and the other images if I click it will be showing in the middle all right so let's go to our view controller and I will show you what I am going to make for add for the navigation items so I have a view load in my view controller so what I'm going to do here is I will show you so I'm going to make a function call in order to call my navigation item title so in my simulator you, as you can see I have only a one item over here so I want to place it over here one um, title as well as image and another navigation item as well so I will show you one thing in function nav title image here let's say let image equal to UI image named as a spring it's asking so I already set a few assets and uh, I already have uh, images called sheriff and all these stuffs I already made and I already have uh, images as for the warning which I'm going to use in this uh, pro project actually okay so I here put some uh, images so I want to place the name of my uh, image which I'm going to use in the image asset. Let image view equal to UI image. View. So I'm going to set here the image of 
frame with the size as well so let's say image dot frame image v dot frame equal to cg rect x let's say 30 width let's say 0 x y 140 and uh, the last one is height I'm going to put it 35 sorry 140 width will be very very huge 35 35 this will be fine so this is for actually to for the image and suppose if I want to add a label over there so let's say let uh, title label is equal to UI label I'm going to set here frame CG rect X is uh, something like 80 Y will be 0 you can put uh, according to the size of the text which you are going to be making symbol it's okay 140 and height will be going to set as uh, 45 this is for the label actually okay and uh, PAT title label dot text this is the text which I am going to use here so let's say travel cops And uh, title label dot background color is equal to UI color dot clear color and uh, for the title label dot text color you can select the text color suppose if it's a black you can make it as UI color dot black or it's uh, in this one I am going to use let's say blue color so that's it okay then application frame let's say application frame is equal to I have to make the frame for this the text label and uh, mm, text and for the image that's the reason so CG rect say X I'm going to put it 0 Y let's say 0 width will be around 300 and height will be 30 or 40 let's say 40 will be enough I guess okay so let uh, navigation view equal to UI view frame so I am placing a uh, UI view inside the navigation bar and uh, I'm calling this application frame into it that's a method actually I'm using here let's say navigation view dot add sub view 
so here I'm going to call image view and uh, navigation view dot add sub view here I am going to call the title label so both are already there in it so uh, navigation item dot title view equal to navigation view that's it so let's run and check okay one second oh yeah that's ui view sorry guys all right that's it this in this one navigation item it's actually it's uh, easy to use if you know the program correctly so it's running and it will show up what's going to happen oh yeah the reason why it's not appearing is I didn't give this uh, function call in my uh, viewed it load that's the reason so navigation title image that's it let's go it for a run yeah so as you can see here I have placed my uh, navigation image and as well as a navigation title in the navigation bar item so I have placed a view over here and I have called the title and the image so next one I'm going to show you uh, how we can call one more image asset in our right navigation bar without uh, storyboard in control so let's do it uh, programmatically that's uh, more easy so I'm going to call navigation right bar item. So set up set up right nav item. We can call one or two. I will show one. We can do with the rest. Okay. So I'm going to call a war warning button is equal to UI button type system so that's a variable I am go I have to initialize in my view controller that's a war warning button is equal to UI button type dot system so we can customize a UI custom actually a selector with my touch up inside so I have made an object function like add warnings let uh, alert is equal to UI alert view I already made alert view in my uh, for a setup under UI bar button item okay let's say warning image uh, dot set image with a image with rendering mode and I have a warning as well so let's build and see what's going to happen why this image didn't appear yeah I didn't call it over my viewed it loads so set up navigation right nav items that's it
so here you can see uh, in my navigation bar item I have a custom image title as well as a power button item in my right navigation so if I click something some action alert I have fixed it according to my program so you can make your own so I just made it over here and alert that's it that's all for the project thanks for watching this tutorial thanks see you guys bye